25801 Hoffner Way, Petersburg, Virginia. Y'all know where this is. No overnight stays permitted, no exceptions. Hell, I ain't want to stay here any damn way. Y'all know where I'm at. Y'all know where I'm at. Y'all wondering why I'm going down this damn dirt road. And you know I ain't got no damn village. I dropped the trailer to Mount Holly last week at a sheep rock place. And I had to drop my trailer. I had to drop it. Then I had to go get my, my next trailer. My plan was to come back to my trailer and get my dunnage. But if anybody's ever been to GAF in Mount Holly, you know that place is a cluster, cluster F word. It's crazy. Hey, shout out my dog Mark Woodruff. Over there, boy, brother, now. Hey, Mark told me the other day. He, 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 I said something. I said something funny, something smart. I said on one of his pictures on Facebook. And he said that same bear you always talking about to help the bear. He said. He said. He said I'm gonna need a bear to help me get him up off of me. <laughs> That's what he told me. Cause if y'all remember, this is this is the place where they got the porta potties out here. And I said if you see me in the woods fighting the bear, help the bear. I also said the bear couldn't get inside that porta potty. That's that's why I'm bringing it up now. I'm gonna try something. I'm about to try something slick when I get back here, cause I'm already pressed for time. Oh, they done took the porta potties out. They ain't even back here no more. My appointment time was between one and three, one and one thirty. What time is it now? One one fourteen. You could be up to thirty minutes late for your appointment here. But still, it's between one and one thirty. But they had a they had an accident on ninety five right there coming out of Richmond. Yeah, they had an accident. Two cars rolled over in the left lane. They had the left lane and the middle lane blocked. So that slowed me down a little bit because I would have been here before one o'clock if it weren't for that. So I'm about to try something slick. Just pull up to the shop and try to get the lumber for the dunnage without without checking in. That's what I'm about to try. Hopefully they don't turn me around. Hopefully they don't turn me around. I'm about to find out. They turn me around. I just walk over there to the to the office. Cause all they're gonna tell you is just come right here and get it. But you got to tell one of those guys to unlock the gate. Hopefully, I can just be in and out and get this done. It's low capacity, six sixty thousand. They hauling some big stuff on that that trailer right there. Whoa, gates already open. Oh, lucky me. There's some heavy dunnage right here. I gotta get eight of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. M's in my bank account. I wish. Hey, right, mama, the truth. I don't see no trucks lined up on the side. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. Let me get around this corner. Let's see if we got any on the scale. Mom with the truth right here. It's 127 now. I have for one. 130. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Man. 
Hey, if anybody ever came to Petersburg, Jardot still where I'm at. Y'all will know, it's, it's hit, hit or miss. Sometimes you'll be the first truck, sometimes you might get here, might be 10 trucks in front of you. Man, hey, my, hey, my lucky day. This is my lucky day. Another PNS driver uh, going to, I think he said he was going to Marietta, Georgia. I think I took that load before. Oh, probably like last year. It's oversized. Well, it's over length. I want to say 60 foot beams. But you know, we got uh, 48 foot trailers. The whole time I've been at PNS, I've only pulled 153. I kept it for about two weeks. And I dropped it off. So only one time I pulled it. 53 at PNS, and it was it was actually a Blair trailer. I picked it up at Florence at uh, Volcraft. I think that's the name of it. Preloaded trailer. Took that thing all the way. I took my load to uh, load I picked up. I took I took it up to somewhere in Virginia. I want to say it was Manassas. I took it up to Manassas, Virginia. Then I picked up my next load. I want to say I picked up some, uh, maybe I picked up some shingles out of Baltimore. I think that's what I did. I picked up some shingles out of Baltimore. I took that somewhere. And I know I took that 53 footer to Camden because I had a, had a hard time backing it in Camden because you know they got some pretty tight area right there in Camden. Had a TMC driver actually help me guide it in there. Not, hey, I'm not gonna say I can't back up, but uh, all that overhanging, trying to get inside that tight little area they got. I need somebody to wash my back end, especially when you get inside the door and you can't see nothing, and your back end just hanging out. Yeah, these guys ready, man. We got one, two, we got three forklifts sitting up here. They ready. They ready for me. Hope they don't argue about who gonna load who. I'm gonna get out right here. See which one gonna get me. Oh, I see this guy already. They want me to pull all the way up. He gonna come to me. Well, I would've got out. I don't mind. Anything to get the job done quicker. already see it's raining out here and we got a whole lot of mud on the ground so I might 
try to get it. I'm gonna try to keep the inside of the truck clean today. Yeah, this ain't gonna take long. I just came here a week before last. I took a load to uh, Macon, Georgia. That load went about, it was over 300 miles. It might have been close to 400 miles. And it only paid, I think it only paid like $800. And this load right here, it's paying, it's paying $1,100. But it's going uh, to, I want to say about 280 miles. Going up to Pennsylvania. Ain't too bad. Coming back from uh, Labor Day weekend, I took a lot of days off last week. As a matter of fact, I took last week. I took off Wednesday. I, Wednesday was my, I dropped the load Wednesday, then I did hit it home. So I ain't really made too much money last week. But I took a vacation. I went to Myrtle Beach. For y'all guys, you know, follow me on Snapchat, and Facebook. Y'all, y'all probably know I was at Myrtle Beach last weekend. Hey, I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. I love Myrtle Beach. It's about two hours from the house. Nice little relaxing place to go to. I'm picking up 45 footers today. Last last week I picked up 40 footers. This is gonna be 45 footers. Got this litter. Throw something out. See it on the ground right there? Littering. At his workplace. Hey, y'all didn't hear it from me. It's a nice truck right there. Got a lot of lights on it. Wavis Transport. Oh, that thing look real pretty at night. Hey, anybody ever seen one of them Budweiser trucks like they have on the commercial? It was a Budweiser or a Coca-Cola? That show up during the Super Bowl. Got all those lights. Never seen one. I seen a WWE truck one time at the truck stop in Georgia. So I'm gonna follow him but pull straight up. Pull straight up.
ain't been doing nothing, man. I ain't did. I, I haven't been doing anything exciting. So, and every time I get ready to try to do a video, it's like I was rushed, rushed for time, and had a lot of other stuff going on. So I just tried to, just took a little break, man. Just took a little social media break. That's all. You know how we do. I had time today, so try to get one in. Hope y'all like it, man. Hope y'all like it. I think on this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to use those ratchet binders. I'm only using four. I'm using two chains in the front, two in the back. And in the middle, I'm, I'm gonna use, uh, in the middle, I'm gonna use all straps. So two chains in the back, two chains in the front, and probably throw like four straps in the middle. That's that's that is how I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna use all uh all chains. I mean I really need to look at the load first. That's just how I'm thinking now. Depends on how he got it up there. I might might use all chains, but if they load it the same way that like they normally do, it's gonna be four chains, four straps. I'm just waiting on him. Is under the strap. You can actually use you can actually use all straps on this load if you want to, but for safety purposes, I always put the chains in the front and back. For safety purposes. See how easy I throw them chains. A lot of y'all can't do that. Ain't nothing to a G. Some of y'all might throw your shoulder out. It ain't that hard. Just roll it up in your hand. 
Toss that son of a bitch. Go to the other side. Pull them tight. So we can get ready to put the binders on. Hey, the best way to use these ratchet binders. Best way to use them. We wanna, you need that piece tight. So you wanna hook it as far to the top as you can. I ain't got a ladder. So I'm gonna have to climb up there. I'm gonna put it as far to the top as I can. That way, I'm gonna pull it tight right here. When I pull it tight at the bottom, it got enough room to stay tight while you while you uh, tightening them up. So I'm about to go up there. First, I'm gonna place them where I want them at. So I can just reach down and get them once I get up there. That's, that makes sense. I'm about to climb up here. I got it up there as far as I can get it. Now all I gotta do, it's already tight. I actually could have put it a little lower. Get this one tight. Let's see if we can go a little bit tighter. Ah. See, it's tight. Now it ain't hard to tighten them up. I actually probably got it. I actually probably got it too high. It's raining too, so my hands are slippery. So I gotta take the gloves off. Take the gloves off, tighten this up. Can't get no grip with these gloves.
y'all can't see. Let's see, we'll see if we can get it from this angle. Let's see if this is a better angle. How long did that take me to tighten that thing up? It didn't take long. Now we're gonna do this one. You might can see this one a little better. Get it as tight as you can and first put it up there so you don't got to fight with it. Look at my hand. I can't use my gloves. It's too slippery. If it wasn't for the damn rain, I, I could keep my glove on. Fuck. Look at my hands. Oh, man, hey, rain and steel do not mix. <laughs> Cause it makes it slippery. Making progress now. Whew. Making progress. It's tight. Off on tight. Now what I'm gonna do for these last two, I'm gonna bring them down a little bit. It's hard to tighten them without, cause I can't put my glove on. I'm gonna bring them down just a little bit. So we can do these a little better, a little easier. Almost there.
once you get it to the point where you can use one hand, that's when you're good. But see, without the, without the glove on, I can't, I can't twist it with both hands at the same time. Yeah, cause it's rain. Even without the glove on, see that steel is real smooth. That was already tight. Yeah, even without the damn glove, it's still kind of slippery. Last one right here. Then we're gonna switch over to the straps. Oh, this one, this one right here, a little quicker. We're gonna get it. Let's check out all these. Tight, tight. Forgot to wrap the chain. I didn't wrap it on this other one either. I, I remembered it when I came back here. Wrap that one. That one's tight. That one's tight. Hey, that's why people don't like use the chains. They can't figure these binders out. Now, like I said, if it wasn't raining, I would have been done in no time. But I ain't got no, I can't use my gloves. Hey, maybe y'all know some gloves that uh got a little rubber on them or something so you can help grip it. Mine's don't got rubber. I got some in there, but I don't feel like looking for them. This is the ones I got, cotton gloves. Now I'm gonna throw these damn straps. I'm gonna throw four straps. Put my gloves on for that. Hey, y'all done seen me throw straps plenty of times. One here. Be a good shower tonight. Good shower. Ended up moving the tarps up here for that strap. It would have been cutting on that metal, so I moved it. Everything's tight. Chains are tight. Straps are tight. Got edge potatoes on the bottom and the top. 
Yeah, this one roll, baby. This one gonna roll. All these are tight. All these are tight. I'm about to head up 95. I'm gonna stop at the rest area right there past exit 104 and do my first load check. Hey man, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Everybody been asking me where the hell I was at. We out, man. We out. Flatbed gang.